Middle East peace is always a very attractive proposition. It's a very sexy topic. I cannot think of a Secretary of State that did not want to get involved in, in the Middle East. And by the way, all of them think they can reinvent the wheel. Arafat is beaming. For him, he's arrived. This was emotionally wrenching for Rabin, knowing he was going to have to shake Arafat's hand. It was history in the making. The idea of breaking through that taboo was just unbelievable. And I can see that something changes in the relationship. They had moved from being adversaries to partners in peace. We say to you today, in a loud and a clear voice, enough of blood and tears, enough. When I look back now, we saw the world the way we wanted it to be. We did not see the world the way it was. He expects there's going to be a civil war within Israel. He said, take risk for peace, and, and now he's dead. It's obviously still a moment that I really can't talk about. This is getting out of control, and we can't stop it. All of our efforts have gone up in flames. King Hussein says to Bibi, you have to grow up and become a leader, and you're not one today. The lesson was, what pays? Is it diplomacy or is it violence? I said, he's coming here, he's full of suspicions. He feels it's a gang up. It's always easy to have an enemy out there. People just love to demonize the other side. When you look at the animosity and the hatred that exists, the human side is completely out. You can't ignore the human factor 